Humans have been battling viruses since before our species had even evolved into its modern form. For some viral diseases, vaccines and antiviral drugs have allowed us to keep infections from spreading widely and have helped sick people recover. For one disease we've been able to eradicate it, ridding the world of new cases. But there are other viruses out there that are equally deadly, and some that are even deadlier. Some viruses, including the novel coronavirus currently driving outbreaks around the globe, have lower fatality rates, but still pose a serious threat to public health as we don't yet have the means to combat them. Here are the worst killers. The top 10 most dangerous viruses in the world. Marburg virus. It's named after a small and idyllic town on the river land. But that has nothing to do with the disease itself. The Marburg virus is a hemorrhagic fever virus. As with Ebola, the Marburg virus causes convulsions and bleeding of mucous membranes, skin and organs. It has a fatality rate of 90%. Although rabies vaccines for pets which were introduced in the 1920s, have helped make the disease exceedingly rare in the developed world. This condition remains a serious problem in India and parts of Africa. And this virus destroys the brain. And if no one receives treatment, there's a 100% chance that it will die. Human immunodeficiency virus or HIV is a virus that attacks cells that help the body fight infection, making a person more vulnerable to other infections and diseases. It is spread by contact with certain bodily fluids of a person with HIV, most commonly during unprotected sex, or through sharing injection drug equipment. Before smallpox was eradicated, it was a serious infectious disease caused by the variola virus. People who had smallpox had a fever and a distinctive, progressive skin rash. Most people with smallpox recovered. But about 3 out of every 10 people with the disease died. Many smallpox survivors have permanent scars over large areas of their body, especially their faces. Some are left blind. Hantavirus pulmonary syndrome first gained wide attention in the U.S. in 1993, when a healthy young man and his fiancée living in the Four Corners area of the United States died within days of developing shortness of breath. A few months later, health authorities isolated hantavirus from a deer mouse living in the home of one of the infected people. More than 600 people in the U.S. have now contracted hantavirus, and 36% have died from the disease according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Flu is a contagious respiratory illness caused by influenza viruses that infect the nose, throat, and sometimes the lungs. Flu is different from a cold, and it can cause mild to severe illness, and at times can lead to death. The best way to prevent flu is by getting a flu vaccine each year. Dengue virus first appeared in the 1950s in the Philippines and Thailand, and has since spread throughout the tropical and subtropical regions of the globe. Up to 40% of the world's population now lives in areas where dengue is endemic, and the disease is likely to spread farther as the world warms. Although the mortality rate for dengue fever is lower than some other viruses, at 2.5%, the virus can cause an Ebola-like disease called dengue hemorrhagic fever. And that condition has a mortality rate of 20% if left untreated. The first known Ebola outbreaks in humans struck simultaneously in the Republic of the Sudan and the Democratic Republic of Congo in 1976. Ebola is spread through contact with blood or other body fluids, or tissue from infected people or animals. 
The known strains vary dramatically in their deadliness. The outbreak underway in West Africa began in early 2014, and is the largest and most complex outbreak of the disease to date, according to the World Health Organization. Although children in the developed world rarely die from rotavirus infection, the disease is a killer in the developing world, where rehydration treatments are not widely available. The World Health Organization estimates that worldwide, 453,000 children younger than age 5 died from rotavirus infection in 2008. But countries that have introduced the vaccine have reported sharp declines in rotavirus hospitalizations and deaths. SARS-CoV-2 belongs to the same large family of viruses as SARS-CoV, known as coronavirus, and was first identified in December 2019 in the Chinese city of Wuhan. The virus likely originated in bats, like SARS-CoV, and passed through an intermediate animal before infecting people. People who are older or have underlying health conditions seem to be most at risk of having severe disease or complications. Common symptoms include fever dry cough and shortness of breath, and the disease can progress to pneumonia in severe cases.